It's the third night of being in silence and the blackness. You know, we could think we're the ones that decided to do something of our own will. And as we go along with the decision that we made, we all of a sudden see the hand of God within it. As I sit here and let divine thoughts capture my spirit, mind, and body, I can see the hand of God from the beginning of my experience of being in the dark, of challenging myself without turning on light switch, without turning on the faucet, without watching my movies that I am very much as a pastime of entertainment. I'm a movie buff. So the challenging myself, also deciding to reward, pat myself on the back, thank God for the experience I'm going to, you know, get back to the normal routine, but also by including my experience these past three nights, three days and three nights, I will be including my challenge in my normal routine. I want to turn on the light switch as much as I used to as a habit um, and so on and so on. But I was walking through the house with my lit incense, praying, praying in the spirit, and then after praying, I walked through in silence, just listening to my heart, what was being said in my spirit. And one of the things that when I got back in the bed, one of the things that came to me is that, you know, God, says he's preparing a table before us. And I connect that to here in the natural realm. Everything we're doing is like preparation. You know, just we don't know why we do what we do. We think we have the idea. And what I can compare it to is like an artist or a sculptor. Even God says, I am the potter and you are the clay. It's like God is molding the image of what he has inside of us. What was already seen through a clunk of clay, a pile of clay. He already saw the image
of himself that he wanted to create through us. And that just popped up in my spirit regarding, he says he's the potter and we're the clay. And, you know, he's the one doing the molding and the shaping and the spinning and the, uh, you know, cutting off and this smoothing out. But as I was getting ready to give my example, it's like an artist or a sculptor or a designer of, uh, uh, you know how you have the artists that they could see metal and old trash, scrap metals and stuff, and they could put it together and sculpt what they saw within their spirit to some whether it looked like to us a weird contraption or whatever type, or it could be a, a what we consider to be a beautiful art design out of out of like like you seen the junk man and he can make art out of old uh tire rims and hub caps and bottles and cans I don't know but it's like God knew already knew what he saw as he was creating it as we're going through our life using every part of our life making a beautiful art design of his caliber his his design. Unfolding his vision. Of, ex of experiencing himself through us. Each of us is a unique design. That God has already seen within us. Within himself to bring about he's preparing the table and it's like I want to say we are the table God is preparing a table before us in the presence of our enemies. All of a sudden, I'm starting to see that we are that table. And... God is preparing the table even before himself. The things he wants on that table to partake of. I can't expound on that because that just dropped in my spirit that we are that table. So that's a new one to me. I've, I've always heard the scripture to mean something else. God is preparing a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And I feel like we are that table. That's what I'm feeling like in my spirit right now. We are that table. But I guess what I really want to say is that God is sculpturing a masterpiece that was already envisioned within himself of what he wanted 
the design to be from us of himself. It's like sometimes I feel like God wants is saying, just let me be me. I know it hurts. I know you don't like what you see. I know the feeling of loneliness. I know the feeling of hunger and uh, anything that we're not agreeing with the preparation. It's like God saying, just hold on. Let me be me. I know it's very dark. I know you don't see no way out. But just trust me. Just trust me. I will perfect what I started, what I prepared, what I preparing I'm preparing a beautiful masterpiece and we could be that enemy I'm preparing a table before me in the presence of my enemies, we could be those enemies. We could be that enemy of God preparing his table. I am that table. I could also be that enemy. that the table is being prepared and I may not like what you're putting before me or, 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 and I could all of a sudden be the enemy, but no matter which way it goes, the table is being prepared. Whether the enemy is on the outside or the enemy is on the inside, either way, the table is being prepared. And in God's eyes, the end has already been envisioned. He see the end product before he even began. Preparing a table. I am that table before me. In the presence of my enemies. God is preparing us. even if we don't like it or not, in the presence of mine enemies. Whether we cooperate with it or not, whether we we make our journey longer or whatever, either way it goes, we are that table that God is preparing before himself. And we could be that very enemy Let me be me.